We all know what happened when INEC announcing result by 4 a.m. When people were still asleep or when people were still sleeping. Asaki, shock Nigerians so with these unbelievable details. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Dr. Jonathan Asaki, the former president of the Southern Kaduna People's Union, Sokapo, did not hold back when he expressed his disapproval of the administration that President Muhammad Buhari had just left in office. He accused the administration of protecting those who were responsible for inability and sponsors of insecurity during his eight years stay in office. Asake, who also ran as a candidate for the Labour Party in the most recent governorship election in Kaduna State, reportedly expressed dissatisfaction with the way the federal allocations were handled by the local government in the north. He suggested that uh, judicious applications could have elevated the widespread poverty that exists in the region. The information was provided by the Sun in an interview with Vicent Kalu. Asake was crucial uh, of the self praise that was just released by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in regards to the general elections that took place in 2023. He questioned the integrity of INEC's ability to elevate, to evaluate his own performance among the important candidates who were running in the most recent election. He mentioned those who were uh, afflicted with the People's Democratic Party, PDP, led by Atiku, the All Progressive Congress, CPC, led by Tinubu, and the Labour Party, led by Peter Obi. He said, I am talking about the Labour Party and its candidate, Peter Obi. Nigerians made their statement, but we all know what happened with INEC announcing the results 4 a.m. when people were still sleeping. Even the Bible says the thief cometh in the night and the mandate was taken like a thief in the night. We already knew what happened when the Electoral Act was being amended to ensure that there is a direct transmission of results to a, a central server and Nigerians were assured that it happened. As a voice is disapproval of the fact that the requirement for the direct transfer of election results to a central server, which was promised during the modification of the Electoral Act, were unsuccessful implemented. As the end of his speech, he offered a solemn reflection on the disenfranchisement of Nigerians stated his optimism for a future in which moral leadership prevails and the right thing is done. Well, it has happened though, but Nigerians should get ready for the worst to happen. Yes, do you know why? It is not like a normal thing because even before the court, God, court did not see what happened during that election as not normal. Yes. If they see it like not normal, they would have sanctioned INEC, but they did not do anything like that. So you see, Nigerians should get ready for the world to happen. That is the truth. In 2027 election, eh, no let God know what thing will happen. Just like what he said, why must you be announcing election by 4 a.m. when everybody was asleep? With everything that happened, INEC, you know, uh, uh, if, if, I don't know how to put it. I need pretend to be blind, not to see what happened and what, not to hear what Nigerians are saying during that presidential election. I recall that the next day, the former president of Nigeria, Chufolisu Gwobasanjo, he, he, he caught President Muhammad Buhari, he said, all you wish is to keep legacy when you leave office. If this is the only thing you will do for Nigeria, do it. Nigerians will never forgive you. And he will become the hero of Nigeria. Nigerians, I swear. 
why can't you look into this election? Because we cannot say that was an election. There were so many issues. Uh, voting suppression, uh, vote, uh, vote buying and everything, discrepancies, you know, uh, attacks on the, uh, on the voters and everything. So many persons do not even vote. So some regions, election, did, election material did not come and some places it came very, you know, late and people could not vote. But all this one, it's not be smarted. Muhammad Buhari uh, government then, not be small name, they call the, the former president. They say hey, he won't plan, you know, to bring the country down. This, this, this and that. He not go work for him. And this and this and that and all that. This is where we are today. Nigerians, this is where we are today. As it depends on the nose, it depends on the mouth, and the eye, they fill up. I make Mahmoud Yakubo. Uh, Nigerians can never, you know, forget him in a hurry. Even the next generation to come, they will still talk about that election. Look at where we are today. You cannot smart God. Mm -mm. Not possible. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take? Kindly drop your view below the comment section. Thank you.